Hi, this is Racha. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to do arm knitting. And I have here is a ribbon yarn. And usually the arm knitting is preferable big yarn, like chunky yarn. The bigger is the better. And I'm gonna um, do my own ribbon and see how it go, okay? So first off, we're going to start by making a loop at the end of the yarn. So I'm going to make the loop by putting the yarn, the end of the yarn here, around your left hand and then bring the end to the top. And then once you've done that, you're going to have this loop but what we're gonna do further you're gonna get your finger through that loop and then grab the yarn the long yarn not the short one grab the long yarn and pull to make a first loop of cast on so the first row of knitting is called cast on so we're gonna do our cast on on our arm like that so that cow as our first stitch our first cast on so next gonna make second stitch by honing this yarn the long end one the one that come from the ball of yarn hone it right in your left hand like that and then you're gonna kind of turn your palm downward and you see that it's gonna form this kind of loop like that. You can use this thumb to help push it out a little bit so you can see the loop better. And once you've done that, you're gonna get your right hand through that loop and then adjust the yarn up to your wrist next to the first one and make little more room for the next stitch coming up so we got two we're gonna do five of these stitches so we keep going hone yarn like that and then flip and then use the thumb to push it out and then get your right hand through that loop and then pull the yarn gently now we're making three of them so do two more like that, turn, right hand through, pull, one more, okay, now we got our first row of our scarf, I forgot to tell you what we're making, so we're gonna make a scarf. Uh, infinity scarf that's what we're making okay so we got five now we're gonna transfer all these stitches to our left arm we do this by holding the yarn in your right hand and we're gonna lift up this loop here the first one nearest to you the first one nearest to the yarn closer to your thumb so you bring that over your hand and over the yarn that you just hold and you make a new loop you put that new loop into your left hand so you get the second row first stitch here and then looking for that yarn from the ball here hold on to that yarn the new yarn is right over here somewhere there and hold that yarn into your right hand and you're gonna continue with your next stitch go over your hand like that 
and then the yarn is going to come through this loop and you transfer that right into your left hand and then looking for the yarn again and hold on with your right hand don't let it go and you're going to slip another stitch over that and then bring that loop that you hold onto that left arm so keep doing like that until we finish all of the stitches on our left right arm okay so this is um, our second row we have cast on row I count that one as the first row and then now all of the stitches are now transferred to my left hand we're gonna keep doing this back and forth back and forth until we almost run out of yarn okay so we're gonna do this side it's a little different on this side but it's not that much different so you hold the yarn right into your left hand here and then bring this over the yarn and put your right hand right directly into that loop that way okay going down and then hold on to the new yarn that come from the ball hold on with your left hand and then bring the next loop or next stitch over that again and then use your right hand go through that straight through that loop not under but on top of it okay if you don't do that the stitch will you know twist a little bit and it won't look as neat and then keep going like that and then loop it to your hand like that so we're just gonna keep going like so one more stitch sorry kind of hard to see sometimes okay last stitch okay so we go back and forth back and forth like that okay I'm just gonna keep doing my until I got almost out of the yarn and we can do buy off let's do one more row slip hand through through slip through make sure when you have the yarn just don't make it too loose slip pull through slip over and put in the left hand okay I'm just gonna keep doing my and I'll come back when I have a longer one, okay? Okay, now I have nipped my very, very long <laughs> as you can see so this is just from one ball of yarn, okay? that's enough for the scarf and I'm at my last row just before the cast off and I'm leaving about three feet of yarn so you can do like three or four depend on how much yarn you have left anyway but don't leave it too short then you um, have to undo it because you don't have enough yarn to buy off so for bind off um, pretty much the same as knitting it's just one more step further so you grab a hole of the yarn the end of yarn right here and then you slip the loop over and then you put the new loop on your another hand and then do another loop and then put it on another hand 
and then you're gonna pass the first loop over the new loop you just did like that <coughs> and then you're gonna continue making another loop and then put the new loop onto your right hand it depends on which hand you end up sometimes you might have to do it opposite hand as mine and then you loop it over the old one over the new one and then make a new loop and pass over and then you're gonna bring the older loop over the new loop slip off and then bring that yarn to the, make a new loop and then gonna pass the old one over the new one like so so now you come to your last loop don't let go of it you're gonna pass the end of the yarn through that loop to secure it okay and and then you have it your scarf to finish up your scarf you will then join both end together with the leftover yarn here you can just cut kind of look make sure the scarf is all straight and not twisting and then once you have that good arrangement you can just look for appropriate area the end of each end it's very hard to tell where the ends are you just kind of have to work it out one two three four five I found my five loop one two one two three four five so once you have that you're gonna join them by bringing the end through your first loop it doesn't have to be tight because you want it to look sort of like a scarf and then just go over on the other side and loop it up and pull it and then loop your next one and then next one just back and forth back and forth like zigzag I don't pull my tight at all as you see and one more to go you can do anything you want it's just it's not really detail work here so when you finish the last one, you just kind of make a, a loop and like a tie a knot there. Then you can just snip the end off of it. Okay, and now we have a very long scarf and you can even double and wear it. Okay, there you go.